What's good, my dudes? We back in the saddle with another YouTube banger. And it's Monday, and that means it's the Monday market analysis video. Um, this is going to be the third week in a row. Last week, we made a prediction about, well, something, and I know we were correct about it. Oh, that's right. I think it was about supercharge. Last week, uh, you can go back, you can watch the video. It's all on record on YouTube. I said, by this time Monday, supercharge is going to be over 100 bucks. I qualified it, said maybe only over 90, but here we are. We're over 100 bucks officially at the time of this video. $101.45. Is it going to go up from here? I'm not sure, but I'm just happy that I've been right with my predictions two weeks in a row. So maybe I'll have another prediction for you at the end of this video. I'm not sure. Stay tuned to find out. Anyway, there's a lot to talk about this week on the market. Um, basically, if we just start, I guess, with skyweavertcg.com, this is a little website I put together that just shows you all the uh, a bunch of charts for the gold card buy prices. Right now, we are seeing a little bit of a dip, as you can tell. Today and yesterday, things have kind of been going sideways, maybe even dipping a little bit. I'm not too concerned about it just because, sorry about that, uh, I do think that prices had a bit of a premature run-up in anticipation of the open beta, the day of the open beta, that was just this week actually. So the day that happened, cards really kind of skyrocketed, which is maybe to be expected, but all the hype has died down a little bit and now we're kind of trying to find the new normal. I think this could be the bottom. I think we could go a little bit deep, uh, a little bit deeper, a little bit lower, I'm not sure. But my guess would be we're gonna kind of wiggle sideways for a little bit longer until people kind of find the new normal. Where, do, where are we at? Where's it gonna go? It's anyone's guess, nobody knows. But I do think that there's a couple interesting things once we dive into the charts to point out. One is that while the prices have been falling the past two days, spells not falling as much. Again, kind of an indicator that for those who like to kind of hedge their bets, maybe spells are a good place to be as opposed to buying units. Units, they pop harder, but they also seem to be falling harder. Um, that being said, spells are still good, generally going down with the market. There is one thing, however, that's not going down with the market, and that is high mana cost uh, cards. Whether they be spells, whether they be units, mostly units we're talking about here, if it's high mana cost, it seems to be holding a lot stronger than the low mana cost cards. So that's something to consider, too, if you're playing it conservatively. Um, of course, the big winners uh, for the past week are the ones that have remained the big winners, and that is set five, which is to say the, the gold card set that was minted in the fifth week of um, the soft launch, and <clears throat> those cards are actually going up when everything else is going down. This is the set with Mutichi, by the way, so a lot of that spike is due to Mutichi. Um, also, the other heavy hitter remains a heavy hitter even this week, and that's Intellect. Even as all the other prisms go down, Intellect goes up. Some of that's due to Matichi again, but it's interesting to note that Intellect is, intellect is staying strong, even when the other prisms seem to be faltering a little bit. Um, this is just a little graph that's showing you price by supply. We went over this a little bit last week. I'm not going to dive into it too in-depth, but basically as you go along this chart, we're seeing the supply price going down. As you go here, this is, or not the supply price, but the supply number. And then as you go up along here, um, we have the actual price. So up here at the top is Mutichi. He's 561 bucks and he has the lowest mint number. This spike right here, I think is Mighty Steed. This is good old Nakamoto. So if you're looking for bargains, you might wanna come into this chart on skyweavertcg.com, check out the dips. Some of these dips might be good bargains. A lot of them are trash cards, and that's why they're a bit lower. So, for example, things like Arcane Ray, which I think is not very good, or um, Wing Construct. Some of these dips represent cards like that, but you might be able to find some bargains by digging into this chart a little bit closer. Um, the last chart, this is actually a new one for this week, and this is just basically the overall market cap uh, of the on-game or in-game marketplace. This is, it's it's a rough estimate, but it's basically just, I'm taking the, the price of each card and multiplying it by the supply of that card, adding them all together. And what's really interesting, I've only recently started uh, tracking this data, so it's not super useful yet. But I will say that one really encouraging sign when it comes to gold card prices is that you can see that the uh, market cap is still going up uh, today, even though the card prices are going down. 
That's largely because we had a new set released today, which means there are new cards coming into the market and there's new money coming into the market. It's just that the cards um, are coming in a little bit faster than the money at this point. So we're getting a slight dip in the average gold card buy price. But overall, things still looking really strong. And even when the card price is going down, market cap going up. Really encouraging sign. And I do think that's another indicator that we might be leveling off around here. Um, right now, the average gold card buy price um, is around 70 bucks. Uh, before the open beta, we were at an average gold card buy price of about $65. I think we could return to around this range, $65. I don't think that we um, dip below it. So I think if you're looking to buy up gold cards now might be a really good opportunity. Buy the dip a little bit if you um, have the balls for it. Of course, I'm buying gold cards still. As always, I recently bought a uh, Minglong. I think um, he's a really good card. He's going to be valuable. Plus, he's just the Dragon of Dreams. So I just wanted a couple copies of him. So I that's one card that I'm... That's what I'm doing personally. By the way, none of this is, is uh, investment advice, obviously. Just me uh, having a good old time talking about uh, something that I find interesting. But anyway, um, the other thing... So I guess that's the basic overview for the week. Um, the other thing that maybe I'll mention is... The uh, that the crystals, uh, the crystals that the Skyweaver team gave out to community members based on when they started playing the game, and basically their status on the, uh, in the yeah, just basically when they started playing the game. Those have officially been released, so those are in people's wallets. Everybody's scrambling to trade them, buy them. There's a lot of hype surrounding them right now, and while you can't buy them on the in-game marketplace, you can buy them on OpenSea already. So as you can see here, some people are already selling their Topaz crystals. Um, uh, everyone has one of these basically at this point. So they're not super valuable. I think about five bucks a piece. Um, Jasper crystals, these are going for about $60 at the time of this video. Um, I, I actually picked one of these up myself uh, earlier today for uh, $55. So it seems like I made a good purchase because they are climbing um, slowly and they may or may not. This is a, I'm not going to really play, make a prediction as far as the crystals go. This is a totally like Wild West area. I mean, even more so than the gold cards in um, Skyweaver right now, which is already pretty Wild West. But the crystal prices, it's anyone. It really is anyone's guess what these are going to be. But we'll just I'll just say that the jade crystals, which are one of the most rare colors, the jade crystals were only given out to people. Um, who were playing the game from a way, way back. And there's less than a thousand of those. And those are already selling for over one Ethereum a piece. Uh, and it seems like they're continuing to climb. Will that hold? Nobody knows, but uh, I do think that it's interesting to look at those prices anyway. Maybe I'll update that. I'll give you guys an update on that next week. I don't really have much to say other than just that, okay, they're available now and it'll be interesting to watch what the prices of those do. Um, I guess the last thing I'll mention is uh, tomorrow's the big day. And by big day, I mean it's the day that the OpenSea uh, drop happens. So these three gold cards are all going to be available on OpenSea tomorrow. There's a very limited supply, 20 copies of each of these. None of these will ever be available by grinding the game or playing Conquest. The only way to get these was to be part of like the exclusive club who was playing the game way, way back in the day. And you ranked really high on the leaderboard. You got rewarded some of these, I think. But for players that kind of came uh, maybe during soft launch like I did, there this is the one and only opportunity to get these directly, unless you want to buy them secondary on the market. But they're all going to be priced at 0.1 ETH. This isn't an auction or anything. It's just there's 20 copies. You can buy it for 0.1 ETH, and it's first come, first serve. Overall, um, I think there's maybe like six or 800 a piece of all of these. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm not entirely sure. But... There are some that are going to be given out to community members, but there's a limited supply. So only 20 copies a piece on OpenSea. This happens tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST. And I imagine they're going to sell out instantly. Probably a lot of people already have bots uh, set up and locked and loaded, ready to go. Pushing the refresh button maybe and going to try and buy these. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna be there hitting the refresh button with everybody else. I don't expect to actually get a copy of any of these, but if I do, I'll be extremely happy because I do predict that uh, 0.1 ETH will end up being very, very cheap for these um, almost immediately, but certainly uh, by the end of the year.
And on that note, I guess I'll end the video here. Um, that's the Monday market update. Oh, one more thing, uh, the prediction for next week. This one, I'll be honest with you guys, this prediction is going to be a bit harder to make just because of what the gold card prices have been doing. We've been kind of wiggling. We're in a bit of a no man's zone right now. So I'm a bit more reluctant to, um, to make the prediction. I don't want to ruin my 100% success rate, but I'm going to do it anyways for you guys. And what I'm going to say is Meng Long is going to be the card of the week. I think that he's a pretty safe bet. I don't think he's going to go down from here. Um, and I think that he's only going to become more valuable as the, uh, as the week goes on. So 54 bucks right now, in my opinion, is pretty much a steal for Meng Long. He has a slightly higher mint number, which is maybe one of the reasons people are hesitating on pumping his price as much as the other high cost units. But it doesn't matter. This guy's in wisdom. Uh, wisdom is always going to be strong in the meta because there's always going to be control minded players, people who want to really kind of express their skill level and wisdom is going to be one of the ways to do it. So it's always going to be a popular prism in constructed without a doubt. It's a super high cost card. We already talked earlier today about how high cost cards seem to do a little bit better. And of course he's a unit and he's a unit that has cool art. It's a cool card. It has a cool attack. There's just a lot of coolness going on. So in my opinion, this is the card of the week right now. At the time of recording this video, the buy price is $54. I'm going to predict that by this time next Monday, he is going to be, let's say he's going to go up 150%. So I'm going to, I'm going to predict that he's going to be 75 bucks. We'll see if I'm right. See if I'm wrong. Tune in next week to find out. And on that note, guys, I'm going to peace out. Oh, make sure to hit the like button, of course, and um, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you would like to see in the next Monday market analysis video. Maybe there's something I'm leaving out that you'd like to see me cover. If so, let me know and um, peace out.